Hey all, thank you for joining me in this uh, pre presentation. My name is Jay Wilson from Onyx Reporting. Uh, today we're going to go over hunting for the missing GL account. Now this question actually comes from a user over Twitter who was struggling to, uh, I guess they spent four hours struggling to find missing GL accounts or expense accounts in their report. Uh, and I thought to myself, God, if this problem was handed over to me, how would I go about solving it? Um, and so to model the, the problem and the solution, I have here a trial balance. Now this trial balance does balance, right? You can see here that it nets out to zero. And there are 101 GEAL accounts in this report. Now in this report over here, I think I have 87 GEAL accounts. I'm missing some. And as you can see, it does not balance. It does not net out to zero. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to identify the missing accounts. And those missing accounts, I'll calculate the balance of those missing accounts. And hopefully that will net out to zero. And just to prove that this works, if I put in another account number, let's see, 1120 for sure is a real account, right? We can see the number changed didn't change much. Let's do something a little bit more dramatic here. 1240. Okay. We can see as I identify GL accounts that are missing in my report of 87 accounts, if I find the missing 14, I should get the number negative 681,626.87. That's the goal. Now, how are we going to do it? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, which accounts should I have in my report? What are all the accounts? So what are all 101 GL account numbers? Question number two, which accounts do I have? What are the 87 accounts that I do have? Then the last question is, which are missing? By taking the accounts that I should have and subtracting the accounts that I do have, I will arrive at the 13 or 14 accounts that I'm missing. Does that make sense? I hope so. In any event, spoiler alert, the functions that we're going to use to solve this puzzle are NL filter, NP join, and NP difference. Ready, set, go. Now, as I said earlier, the first thing we have to do is identify the valid accounts. Which accounts, which 101 accounts should I have in my report? Actually, before we tackle that, I don't even know if I said it anymore. How did I end up with 87 instead of 101 uh, GL accounts? Well, this is pretty normal. A lot of users transitioning from Jet Express, the free version of Jet Reports, or a lot of users who have highly formatted um, trial balances or other, other um, GL reports, what they'll do is they'll manually list out individual GL accounts. And that's what I did. I copy pasted from the report that should work and actually I just deleted a couple rows, right? When you use replication, when you use the NL rows function, you don't have to worry about missing new GL accounts because the NL rows function will always pull in all the valid GL accounts, all the accounts that you're supposed to have because that's what the NL rows function does. And I'm actually going to use that as the foundation um, for my list of accounts that should be here. Now, if I open up the function wizard and we read through this, what this says is it says, make a list in rows of GL account records where the account type is posting and the balance does not equal zero. Basically, make a list of all GL accounts. Now, I don't want a list in rows. What I really want is an array. So I'm going to use NL filter, and the tooltip says, create a filter from the resulting data to use in another NL function. That doesn't say anything to me but go with me on this. What I'm currently asking for is an NL filter or I'm asking for an array of GL account numbers, valid GL account numbers. Now what is an array? An array is basically all of the account numbers squished into cell E3. Now of course this array is not legible, it doesn't tell me anything useful. So to turn this array into a legible string I'm going to use the NP join function. And what the NP join function does, let's read the tooltip, it joins a list of items 
by the specified character sequence and returns a string. So join the NL filter array as a pipe separated list. Now that's definitely legible. This NP join function took my squished array in E3 and expanded it into a legible string. So 110 or 1120 or 1140 or 1210 and so on. <clears throat> and this string represents all of the GL accounts present in my report. Sorry, this string represents all GL accounts that should be in my report, and I should have 100 of them, but I only have 87. All right, so which accounts are present in my report? Well, I have them all right here, don't I? And you can use Excel trickery to get this into a pipe separated list, or once again, I can use the NP join function. And for the array, instead of passing in an NL filter, I'm just gonna select my range of cells, because a range of cells is also an array. All right, where's the end of this sucker? Here it is. All right, so that's my second argument. And the last argument is what is the string that you want to use to separate each value in your array? All right, so here it is. 110, 120, 1140. I could manually compare each one line by line and say which one's missing, right? I could do that one at a time. That would be pretty tedious. I don't do tedium. All right. So now I have a string representing all the report, all the function, geez. Now I have a string representing all the GL accounts present in my report. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another array. I'm going to create another NL filter. But this time, I only want the GL accounts that are in the string here, that are present in my report. If I open this up in the function wizard, for those of you who prefer to read the function wizard, once again, NL filter, GL account number, that's all the same. But I added one filter that says, limit the account numbers to the numbers that are in the string in E7. Oh, that is not the key I wanted. F4. Right. All right. So now I have two arrays. I have an array, I have an array of all of the valid accounts. I have another array of the present accounts. If I take the difference between the two, I should arrive at the missing accounts. So once again, we're going to turn to our handy dandy NP function, our Batman utility belt. And I'm looking for the NP difference. I'm going to calculate the difference of two arrays. I'm going to take array one, and I'm going to subtract array two. So now I have an array, an NP difference array, that represents all of the missing GL accounts. Now if I want to see them all listed out, you got it. I'm going to use another NP join point that NP join at my NP difference, bam, those are all my missing GL accounts. And here in my plug, you can see this NL sum function says, look at my string of missing GL accounts, calculate the balance of all those missing accounts, and this does net out to zero. If you're the type of person that wants to know how many <laughs> accounts you are missing, you can use an NL count function to count the results of your NL filter. So I have 101 account numbers in that I should have. I have 87 that I do have and 14 that we're missing. And of course when I run my report you know, you don't trust, don't trust NL filters, NP joins, NP unions, or anything like that until you actually run the report, um, but you'll see that this works out. Okay, 
So again, my plug is when I take the net of the plug in the balance, it does net out to zero. And just to make sure we're not crazy, right? Let's do a sanity check. Is account 3120 in this report? Let's scroll through. 3110, but no 3120. What about 4010? 4010 is also not in this report. So I think it's, I'm comfortable saying we've successfully identified the set of accounts that are missing from this trial balance. And once I add them to this report, it will net to zero. Or alternatively, if you do what we should have done in the first place, if you use the NL rows function to generate a list of GL account numbers, you don't have this manual process to worry about. In any event, <clears throat> that's the end of our presentation today. My name is Jay Wilson from Onyx Reporting. Uh, we, we were looking at hunting for a missing GL account. This technique works for expense accounts, salespeople, customers, you name it, it works. Um, and some of the new JET functions that we explored today were NL filter, NP join, and NP difference. Uh, by the by, NP difference will take will subtract array one from array two. It is worth mentioning since right before we close out here, um, you can take the union. In other words, you can combine two sets of arrays or alternatively, you can take the intersect of two different arrays as well to say what is what are common between two, two arrays. All right. Now we're done. My name is Jay Wilson. I am available for services and JET reports uh, training. If you guys need any help on that, please feel free to reach out to me at jae at onyxreporting.com. Thanks so much. Cheers.